as you can see me, you can see me, and right over there. Um, it's early morning, I don't want to wake my wife. I'm actually going to do it. I'm actually going to go for my first ride um, up, well, 5k radius, so it's going to be a Chappies or a Gobtaberg, or we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to take you with, so you can get the sunset, the sunrise early in the morning over her heart bay, that'd be great. But um, yeah, I'm actually going to do it. My first ride during the, the lockdown, allowed. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's kind of chillers. Kind of, yeah. It's not. It's not the warmest, but I've got a jersey on. Obviously, got. I've got my mask. Because if I, if you guys can see it, my mask. So yeah, um, I'll wear it when it gets public. You want to get a lot of people. Be safe. Be so, and rather be safe than sorry. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys uh, while I'm riding. I guess you know. Bye. Yeah. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? How's the lockdown treating you? Are you guys getting out? Are you guys actually working from home? Or have you arranged that you can go to work? Yeah, these are crazy times, guys. Crazy times. No one has seen this before. Morning. We um, we are in unprecedented times. We are. We've never in our generation have not experienced this. In 1818 or 1860 something, they had something like this. The Spanish flu, everybody and their cat wore masks. We, our generation, have not. Plus, America's in a turmoil with a stupid leader like Trump. All he's interested in is the, the money in his bank account, the companies laying off people, Heck to count, guys. But I'm not here to talk about this shit. I'm here to talk about my ride. Your ride. Everybody's ride. Have you gone out already? Because I miss this so much. Open road. Me. And nothing else. I've seen some people walking. I've seen two cars. Woo! Big years out of breath. Um, there's nothing on this road as you guys can see. I'm sorry if you guys are listening to me talking in the dark. Oh my god, I miss this so much. Being on the road, riding my bike. Oh, nothing quite like it, guys. Nothing. I don't know if you guys can see us. Well, there's a massive fountain of water coming up the ground, easy 40 meters high. That's incredible, it's coming out of that hole over there. And it's just streaming water. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to have any water pressure when I get home. One thing in my road cycling days that I've missed so much, to get up the cracker sparrow spot to uh, go for a ride to meet your buddies you used to come from Hart Bay to the edge meet to go ride with my buddies in edge meet in, Sal in Salambosch yeah so I ride 50 days to meet my friend in edge meet then go to Stellenbosch come back and then ride back and it's about a 150, almost 200 k's a day. That was nothing like it, but I miss the. Boy, it's a bit of a bit of a bittersweet miss. The smell of the farms as you ride past them in the dark. The sound of the cocks crowing early morning. That freshness in the air that you can smell. You can smell it now. You can hear all the get all the the cocks crowing and the guinea fowl going about. Now you missed that. Um, 
Lance Armstrong made a book, wrote a book, published a book. And he said it's not about the bike. In racing terms, no, not always. But it's but it's so much more than than the bike. Yes, it is about the bike and everything that comes with it. The ride, the experience, the friends, the sights, the, everything, the events, all happens on the bike. There's nothing else like it really. It's, it is all about the bike. Because without this bike, none of this would happen. None. Riding with your best mates, good companies, awesome trails, beautiful views. Oh my goodness, the views. So yes, in short, it is about the bike. 100% about the bike. Unbelievable, the views, the sights, and it's all about the bicycle. The bike takes you there, the bike makes you see these places, it helps you experience life. It's unbelievable, it's so beautiful. So it is all about the bike. You guys okay? So I've been chatting to some cyclists while I'm taking pictures and the uh, majority of them says, or well, the consensus, consensus of the majority of them says this lockdown is stupid, people are pro pride, protesting, rioting, you understand a lot of people are unhappy about it, but guys think about it. At the end of the day, it's your health, your well-being of yours and your families. It's not about just the virus. The virus is a catalyst of conditions that you might not know you have. Like I told the one guy, there's a pastor in America who just doesn't, doesn't believe in the virus. He says if there's such a virus, they're soldiers of God. They'll fight it, they'll survive. So they went to this mass church services with 300 of them who got infected. And the pastor was one of them. The pastor died three weeks later due to complications of his, di his diabetes. He didn't know he had. He had diabetes and he died because of it. Like I said, the virus is a catalyst. It attacks your body and your body creates more immune systems and thinking there's even more wrong and it attacks healthy cells as well. And these healthy cells weren't a lot concerning this much. This pasta was not in the top 10 running of being one of the fittest people on the planet. Like most Americans, he was morbidly obese. 
enjoying his life in the fullest, obviously. Jesus, his cars. So, yes, lockdown is bad for the country. The economy is in shambles. America, the economy has crashed. 6.6 .6 million homeless people, or workless people, shall I say, jobless. Trump is running the country like a business. The only one problem with this, you can't fire citizens. So America is the new Spain. So guys, I'm asking you from one cyclist to another, from one lover to nature and our sport, just look after yourself. Look after your loved ones and look after the ones around you because they might not know they have diabetes or high cholesterol or underlining blood or heart condition. You might recover, but the person that you gave it to won't. So, guys. I know it's a bit heavy after during a ride, but please look after yourselves. Look after the people around you. We're all in it together. This boat, she will sink if you rock it. So yeah, sorry about that. But I just thought I should get this off my chest. Ah, it's so beautiful up here. So difficult to breathe with a mask on while you while you're huffing and puffing or drinking water. So every now and again you have to take it off, put it back on, take it off, put it back on. Uh, especially mine is pretty thick, so I have to find something a little thinner than that. I feel like Darth Vader without his oxygen inside his mask. Oh, it's beautiful views, guys, beautiful views. So uh, I'm about an hour and 51 minutes in. I started a bit late. It's 8.14, so I've got 45 minutes to get home. But I'm top of Oak Ops back, so it's not that it's not that far for me. Um, I'm down about 22 k's, so today will be a 30 something k ride, which is pretty good for three hours or five k radius. Oh, and it became overcast, as you can see in my time lapse. I was trying to get you guys to enjoy it, like a sunrise over Chappies, and um, it started off okay, and then the sun, the clouds came over, and it kind of spoiled the entire thing. Sorry, guys. But this time, tomorrow morning, if it's not overcast, maybe tomorrow or thereafter, I'm going to try to come up here and do time lapse of the sunrise of the Cape Flats and um, see what that looks like. Well, I'm going to end the video here, guys. And um, I hope you guys are safe, are well, are happy. Um, if you're going to work, enjoy. Please be careful. If you don't, have fun with the dogs, the kids um, in another room. But yeah, um, you guys have a good time. I'll see you again. Thanks for coming around. Have a good day.